hi guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to like share subscribe um so we got the video of amber portwood going off on ig calling christina a homewrecker etc etc so let's listen kid on the show When you're a whore, you're a whore. When you're a home wrecker, you're a home wrecker. When you're a liar, you're a liar. Money was stolen from me when I was in prison. I was told that when I got out, I would have my family. All the while, I was being cheated on. I'm not jealous of Christina. There's nothing about Christina that even makes me jealous in any sense. And I don't try to be mean for that one. I'm just telling the truth. No, it's not on Gary. Christina said that she had never seen the show, guys. She was from Anderson. She respects her because she brings her out to Starbucks, gets her nails done, and spends over a thousand something dollars of clothing on her. Well, hell, I'd respect her, too. See, I wasn't raised that way. I was raised to not spoil my child. Why should this be kept to myself when everything else is just put out there? Christina doesn't do anything for Leah. What does Christina do? She didn't do anything. Leah wanted to live with me until they went to Disney World. I don't spoil Leah. She only gets things on her birthdays and things like that. That's it. I try to invest time with Leah. All the time. All the time. It's all I ever do. She doesn't take care of my daughter. No, she doesn't. No, Gary does not clothe her, feeds her, nothing like that. Gary wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for me in the very beginning. And also, <laughs> you guys, please, you're making me fucking just laugh. They spoil my daughter. My daughter has not been with me in the same breath. I've been in Airbnb for a couple years, which is one of the major reasons why I definitely, you know, just with everything going on with other stuff, you know, understandable. But to sit there and say in the same breath, you know, I sleep in when... She does stay over. Well, that's not possible if you don't stay over. I'm not full of myself at all in any way. I'm just honest and you, I don't care what you think. Spoiling, spoiling a child is horrible. Spoiling a child turns people into absolutely um, misguided and very... Um, delusional people when it comes to the world 
that we really live in. You don't see my son for a reason, and that's none of your business. That was something that was something that I didn't have to fight about. I'm not a narcissist. I'm a person that tells the truth. If that makes me a narcissist, I don't care. I'm not turning into fucking Thera. Are you stupid? How am I Thera? The fuck are you talking about? Children need love. I give plenty of love to my children. I know how my daughter feels. Don't tell me how my daughter fucking feels. I know how my daughter feels. I've talked to my daughter without the cameras a couple times. I know how she really feels. I don't care if you think I'm cuckoo. I don't care. I wanted my daughter on her birthday alone because for some odd reason, which I have text messages of, she wanted me to come to the party, but then she was talked out of it somehow. And then she texted me back and said, never mind, come over with the four, $400 I had spent on makeup and spend a, spend some time with me. Well, if you go out to dinner, what, am I supposed to spend a couple hours with you on your birthday? See, <laughs> what? No, 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 no. What I want to do is spend time. I want to spend my day. I want to spend time with her. Now, her becoming a preteen to me was a big deal. I wanted to give her a nice gift, some makeup that I use, because she really liked the makeup I used. So I did go all out for her. Because she's a preteen, and she just didn't want to. I just wanted her to be happy and to have time with me and her so I could sit there and talk to her and understand her feelings. That's it. I sincerely just wanted to spend time with her and talk to her and that's it. And instead, I hear this shit tonight, which almost just broke, not only broke my heart, but I was confused. didn't have that conversation on her birthday. Her birthday wasn't about having a huge conversation. Her birthday was about letting her know that I wanted to spend time with her and just more time with her. That's all I wanted to do. As you just heard there, her going off on one, like legitimately, she genuinely feels like she's a good mom. Like you were basically sitting there calling your 12 year old daughter a friggin liar. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Seriously? Your daughter have told you that she doesn't want to come to your house because you sleep a lot. You called her a liar. You said she doesn't have that kind of relationship with you. No, you could just manipulate her when she was little. You can't now. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. This, and then she, like, says about being delusional. Spoiled children are delusional. Um, hey, kettle, meet black. Like, holy moly. This woman is absolutely lost her dang mind. 
absolutely lost her dang mind. Girl, you've lost two kids. That tells you something about you, not about the children. Just saying. Leah's a very smart, beautiful girl. Very intelligent, very articulate. She's going to go far in life with no thanks to you. Jeez. Anyway, there's the IG Live. Hope you enjoyed. I shall catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.